Oh, sweet. Hey, forget reading, writing, and arithmetic. Now students at several California elementary schools are also being evaluated for things like grit and gratitude. It'll appear on the, on the report card. So in addition to traditional letter grades, new report cards will show an assessment for students on social and emotional learning. But is this really necessary? Or does it take parents totally out of the equation? Here to debate, Emmick McGlorty is the Education Director at American Principals Project, and Nomi Kantz, she is the Executive Director of the Accountability Project. Nice to see both of you this morning. Thank you. Good morning. Emmett, why is this a bad idea? Well, this is getting into uh, an area that is primarily the role of parents. What we're doing is uh, we're, we're getting near the point of reducing the parent's role to that of a nanny and promoting the role of government to being the primary shepherd of a child's education and moral formation. This is a dangerous precedent. What about that point, Nomi, that this idea that, well, the parents are out of the equation, we're letting our teachers now grade them on empathy and grit and gratitude. Shouldn't this be something held at the home? Well, it should be held at the home, but that is exactly why this was designed. This was designed by the parents. So if you actually look at the at these schools, the, the, the parents stepped up and said, you know what, we have common core, core. It's really difficult. We're raising the standards of our children so that we can compete globally. But we're not focusing on the process. And so parents stepped up to their school boards and said, we need to teach our kids how to work hard, how to understand the text that they're reading so that they're learning the stories rather than just memorizing the stories in the reading materials, so that they have the work ethic in arithmetic, so they can compete with China, they can compete with India, because we're lagging right now. So what and about that point, Emmett, this idea of the ethics around education and the culture around it and learning to be good people? It's not just about ones and zeros in math class, and it's not just about ABCs. Well, we should put this in a, in a larger context. A couple of years ago, California joined the Partnership for 21st Century Skills. It's a, a coalition of, of about 20 states, and that coalition is the one promoting the idea of, of testing and, and evaluating these, uh, these skills, or really values and attitudes and beliefs. Uh, so that's the larger, larger context. Um, and, and it also needs to be put in the context that what we're moving to in America is an educational portfolio, a collection of information, not just grades on students that sticks, sticks with the child throughout their educational careers into their professional careers well, yeah, really for the rest point, of their that's, lives. That's a good point because some of these, let, let's take a look at this, this scale and how this ranges on, this, on these report cards. Naomi, I want to get your response to that. So it's from a one to four scale and it'll range from almost always to rarely, a lot of gray areas there. So we're really, this could stick with a child for many, many years. Could this prevent them from getting into college if certain things are listed there on this on this report card? They don't have enough gratitude. Well, actually, this is just being implemented in elementary schools. Last time I checked, you know, I failed English in fourth grade, and that still got me into college. It's still going to make, you know, it's just part of the, the teaching kids at the elementary level, very basic skills that should be taught at the home. But students are spending most of their waking hours at school. So it's really a carrying over of the skills that parents are teaching at home into the school. Yeah, it's an interesting question, and I'd love to hear our, what our families think this morning as they're watching this show. Would you want to know how your kid is in school? Is he being, is he showing gratitude? Is he showing grit? Do you care? Do you want that on your report card? Let us know. You can go to uh, facebook.com slash FF Weekend and weigh in. Nomi and Emmett, great to see you, you. this morning. Thanks. Thank you.